All right, now if you're a Samsung Galaxy phone user and if you love One UI, here is a very exciting news for you guys. The first One UI 8 beta is expected to be released in the month of June, which is next month. And some reports also say that it might get released by the end of this month as well, which is earlier than expected. Google is set to release the stable version of Android 16 in probably a few weeks from now, which has led to the early release of One UI 8 beta from Samsung. Already some users on X have started posting the One UI 8 features. Some of them have already installed the early builds of beta, so they have got their hands on on the One UI 8. We can definitely see some improvements when it comes to animations. There are some comparison videos of the animations on X and it looks like it has been further polished and looks pretty smooth. Renowned leaksters like Tarunwat, CID and a few more users on X have shared some important screen recordings and videos. As you can see, there is a slight difference in the charging animations here compared to One UI 7. One UI 8 has additional flowing animations within the pill as you can see compared to One UI 7. The predictive back gestures are implemented and they are working by default as per Tarun Watts. He has shared a video where predictive back gesture is seen. This feature was long due even though it doesn't add much of a functional improvement. It's a new feature which will be now available on One UI 8. When you use the swipe gestures and swipe back to go to the previous page on settings, you will be able to see the previous page right there. Personally, I don't see any use of this feature at the moment. But if you're someone who just want to peep and see the previous page, then that might be helpful for you. So I'm not very sure how you're going to use it. Let me know in the comment section. And you can see this screenshot shared by Tarunwats, there are two new clock fonts that have been added and it seems like there is a thin borders which have been added between the sections on the quick panel as you can see on this image. Toprak is another ex-user who was able to get his hands on on the One UI 8 and he has shared some important information as you can see in this video there is some improvement in the microphone icon right there on the pro video mode. You got some aesthetic changes on the microphone icon. The next important change which is happening on One UI 8 is the addition of phone calls to now bar. Now we will be able to see the ongoing phone call right there on the now bar. That is gonna be very useful to have on the lock screen, especially when you are connected to your Bluetooth earbuds. And you can also see there is do not disturb mode which is available on the now bar. So there will be many changes coming to now bar. Samsung will be adding many more features, many more applications support will be available on now bar and we may also get a progress bar when you use a delivery application a food delivery application and a lot more ai integrated features are coming on one ui 8's now bar next you can see there is a lot of blur effect being added on the menus we have got that frosted glass effect on the menu options in different parts of the ui which will make the ui look much better compared to one ui 7. Next, we have got 12 GB virtual RAM option on S25 Ultra with One UI 8 as shared by Toprak. He says looks like the visual RAM will go up to 16 GB with additional boost. As you can see in the image, apart from 2, 4, 6 and 8 GB RAM options, we also have 12 GB RAM option now on One UI 8 on the S25 Ultra. And this may not come to all the phones. Maybe it is reserved for Galaxy S25 series. Not sure at the moment. I'll keep you guys posted when I get my hands on on these updates. So be sure to subscribe to the channel and do not forget to hit the like button for this video. And there is a new watch face also being added as you can see here on this image. And I hope Samsung adds more good looking default clock faces. And there's a quick comparison of One UI 8's app opening animations with Color OS. This was shared by a user on X. As you can see in this video, the animation looks pretty smooth on One UI 8 compared to the Color OS. Again, this is subjective. You guys let me know what do you think about the animation between the Color OS and One UI 8. And apparently, One UI 8 is going to add support for more devices in Buds controller as per One UI 8 page on X. SS Tech on X has also shared a very cool video showcasing Android. 16 One UI 8 version on the Galaxy S25 Ultra and there the animation is looking very smooth and beautiful. Another X user has posted a screenshot of the gallery application and he says the latest leaked build of One UI 8 adds a private album feature to Samsung Gallery. This feature will most likely work like secure folder but exclusively for photos and videos. These are some of the changes we know right now and it looks like One UI 8 could be a major upgrade with some cool new features and aesthetic changes. I will keep you guys posted about everything that is happening with One UI 8. So go ahead, subscribe to the channel, become a part of Apex community. Do not forget to hit the like button and do not forget to download our wallpaper application Volvers. That's about it. Thanks for watching. You guys take care and stay safe. Cheers. Bye bye.